What's going on, Highly Nation? It's Thomas DeLauer, your community captain, and today I'm going to give you a quick reason as to why intermittent fasting might be something that you want to be trying out when it comes down to the holidays. And this time I'm specifically talking about its effect on testosterone. Okay, the European Journal of Clinical Nutrition actually found that fasting for short periods of time does some amazing things when it comes down to GnRH. What that is, is gonadotropin releasing hormone. What that means is it's the brain's ability to send a signal down to the gonads to ultimately produce testosterone. We're talking about things like luteinizing hormone and follicle stimulating hormone that have a dramatic impact on your Leydig cells to actually produce testosterone. So yes, short bouts of fasting produce more testosterone, which thereby increases protein synthesis and makes your metabolism increases. But there's another reason why fasting has a huge impact when it comes down to testosterone, and that's something known as autophagy. You see, autophagy is this natural process where cells sort of eat themselves, for lack of a better term, to kill off old cells so that new ones can be created. Well, the cool thing is, when it comes down to fasting, autophagy increases dramatically, and that autophagy process actually gets rid of excess estrogen levels. If we get rid of estrogen levels, or at least bring them down, it allows more testosterone to be free and utilized for muscle, utilized for performance, and of course, utilized for the metabolism. So there's your quick tip going into the new year, Hylite. As always, I'm your community captain, and I'll be sharing with you all kinds of upcoming stuff that Hylite is doing to make sure that you're kept abreast and you can be on the same page as us. I'll see you in the next video, and have an awesome new year.